They are healing, we just need to get them under half. <laughs> yeah, then the demotics go off. Today, let's see how high we can get our poison damage per tip. But first, we'll grab more storage piggy bank for money. And then we'll roll for stamina, storage, and food. Oh, we nearly miss out on the pan. I'm so glad you can reserve things after you've clicked next. We do lose the first game. All right, let's grab the storage. We'll go pan because that's going to be our primary weapon. Juggle banana. We'll move those around as time goes on, but hopefully this is enough. Shield's probably tough. We do come back there. Okay, let's buy some more food. Juggle these around a little bit. Yeah, we'll go mushroom and garlic. Okay, we'll go garlic down the bottom, mushroom up top. We'll get the packs because they're going to be crucial for speed later. I think that's probably the better layout to start with. Let's go mushroom like that because then they'll all be triggering. How does this go? Yeah, nice. Yeah, pan early is great with food. More garlic or piggy? Let's buy both. Actually, let's hold the piggy. Get a little bit more storage. I think we need four-ish fanny packs. Okay, let's juggle the fry pan around so it can touch all the food. Okay, that's probably the best we can get. Let's just fill the gaps in. We're going to use the pan primarily, so... Let's not worry about Daga, we'll keep Piggy Bank though for money. Yeah, this feels strong. So now we're basically just looking for poison to start with, more food and storage. Health port this early doesn't matter. I think we save our money for things that are going to scale us up. Now that we've got this storage, we can fit in everything that we own. We won't worry about the armor pot yet. We'll get the stamina bag though. Perfect, still strong enough. Oh, we do hit potion. Okay, let's buy both. Let's get stem bag and we'll put the potion in there for now until we get better storage later. Okay, how do we go now that we've got poison? <laughs> Roughly around that three per debuff. I can't wait to see what that gets to. All right, more fanny pack. We'll move the dagger around. We won't worry about more banana now. I think we should be fine. Stamina is not an issue yet, so we won't worry about that. Get more stem bags though for storage. We didn't hit any more potions, but that should be fine. We might lose this one because of it though. We do get the win, okay. All right, we always go Witch because that is crucial to the build. More potion will be great. Yeah, let's buy a potion now. We did get the belt. So maybe now's the time we take the leap. Yeah, let's put it in, let's juggle around. So we want Fanny Pack top left. Okay, 
Okay, we want both cushions touching, so then we can eventually get the scythe. And then let's just optimize the food so that it hits as much as it can. And then things really get crazy when we get the other potion. <laughs> Just get the win there. So it got up to 23. All right, let's buy the demonic now. Hopefully get more potion. And hopefully the scythe would be good. Oh, we do hit it. Okay, next turn's gonna be big. Hey you, if you're enjoying the content and want to stay up to date with the challenge, look down. Is the subscribe button glowing? You should click it. Thank you so much. Now back to the video. 14, 19, 20, 22. Okay, here's where the build actually begins. So let's juggle things around. First, we want to optimize around the site. So let's get as many fanny packs as we can touching. So we get all four and then we'll get struggles next to it, link up the potions. So for now, it's going to be a little bit slower because we've only got two potions. Because we're kind of relying on the poison hitting. Juggle the bananas around for a little bit of stamina. Keep the piggy bank. Sell everything so we can get another poison potion. And let's just see how this goes on its own. Save the demonic for next round. How do we do? Forty-four, and we've only got three potions. We do lose, but it's only just starting. Okay, potion belt is crucial. Let's actually just get rid of the casket. Let's get rid of anything that isn't build specific now. So we just want more potions. Do hit the potion belt, which would be great. At this point, health is probably beneficial to survive while poison stacks. Because we basically want to get them under half health as soon as possible, so the demonic can just kill them. So good. Alright, a little bit more health. We'll juggle those around so they don't combine though. Now we've got three of both. Ideally we want, I think four is probably best. Oh wow, we hit the scythe. Two we go double scythe. Let's do it. Okay, how does this go now? Up to 40. Yeah, it's crazy. We need one more demonic though. So they die in one hit after half health. That will help a lot, so hopefully they double trigger now that we've got the potion belt. I think we keep the scythe held for a little bit and try and get more potions. Stand bag will probably be good now when we have both. We do hit another potion. Okay, we get both. Let's keep the three dollars and bite. How do we go against shield? Up to 56. Yeah, it's crazy. When all the pieces get put in together, it just feels great. Okay, we've got 4-4 four, four now. Immunity's tough, but we get up to 60. 
<laughs> oh, the <laughs> the demonic is crazy. I think we're on like 12 and then the demonics go off. Okay, we'll roll down to 14, see if we get anything. We do hit the bag, so maybe we save the scythe for one more turn. Because we really want to optimize how many times all of the potions can go off. More poison would be ideal though. That's kind of the only thing we're lacking now. Alright, how does this do? We didn't really improve that turn, so let's see. 73 without immunity. How do we go against the armor? Just gotta get it down to half health. <laughs> so powerful. Okay, let's juggle things around. Let's take the leap on the scythe and see how the double scythe goes. We do need more poison for it to be as effective as it can though. But let's see. 91. They are healing, we just need to get them under half. <laughs> yeah, and then the demonics go off. Okay, let's just roll for potions. Probably time to get stone now. Do we go more belt? I think we leave it. We've only got two rounds left. Another scythe. I think three is too much. We kind of just want to keep rolling for potions. We've only got five dollars left, so maybe getting a stamina pot might help now that we've got the two slice. I don't know. Hundred and one. Wow. That was like th two or three hits. Let's get another stone pot. And then we just want poison. Oh, we hit it too. Okay, let's juggle this around so that we can get one more trigger on the side. So annoying when they don't go out of the bag. Okay, let's juggle it around like that. So now the scythe will get four triggers on the potion, the other one will get three, and we've got Mr. Struggles. Stamp pot doesn't really matter where it is, but we want to get all the demonics into the double belt. And then we can basically just put the health pots wherever they need to. Let's actually sell bag and buy the fanny pack so that we get extra speed on the scythe. Keep the stem bag just for a little bit extra. Okay, how do we do? Let's slow it down. 98. Okay, as soon as they go down to half health, they're gone. Oh, it's such a crazy build when all the pieces come together. Uh, more poison would have been great, but five is still crazy. Thanks for watching, guys. If you got this far, please don't forget to subscribe. It helps me out so much. If you're enjoying the content, this one's up next. I know you'll love it.